This is the final product. Day one of potty training. Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. Today we are going to the pumpkin patch. It is like mid-October. We haven't gone to one just yet. So today's the day. Today the weather is kind of cool, but it's gonna be a little hotter later. But this is the first time I ever in my life wear a jean jacket. I have never owned one until now. And this is my first time like actually wearing it. So I feel so cute. And I'm actually gonna bring in my daughter's jean jacket too. So we can take some matching pictures because the rest of the fit is literally just black on black and then some white shoes. And then I actually put these little bats up yesterday. My daughter helped put like a couple so that one's going the wrong way, which I think just makes it extra adorable. And this pumpkin patch that we're going to is an hour away. So you already know I'm gonna go hit up Dunkin' Donuts because I freaking love Dunkin'. I got a vanilla frosted donut, but tell me why this is the saddest donut without any sprinkles. Krispy Kreme. of filming today but it's gonna be an exciting or should i say like nerve working weekend but i'm gonna get to that right now just a little recap i had to film the video but i did not feel comfortable posting it because honestly it felt boring and my camera lens broke so i had to film my gopro on my phone and then i had some footage from my camera so it literally felt all over the place audio was weird quality was like up and down so i just felt like I didn't want to post something just to stay consistent if it's going to be a trash video. Anywho, I am now filming from my new camera lens. Let me know if you notice a difference. So there's supposed to be like more bogus or whatever it's called. I need to play around with this new camera, but look at the size of this lens. Hold on. Okay, you can't tell, but it is huge. But anyway, bringing it back to the reason I did start vlogging right now is because I randomly decided that today is going to be day one of potty training. I woke up today and I didn't even know that this was going to happen. But my toddler has been showing so many signs of readiness for potty training. And today I was so proud because she woke up with a dry diaper from all night to this morning. And then when she went and potty, I was like, okay. So I went to the bathroom and she peed so much. I don't even know how a little girl can hold such a large bladder. And so that was kind of like turning my gears, like, should I start today? Because she's honestly been showing signs for quite a while now. And I don't want to miss that window where then it becomes extremely difficult for both of us to train. So after breakfast that she had to go pee, I kind of just said, no more diapers, Mama. And she got kind of upset. <laughs> I can see why this was not normal. And I did try to go commando, but I do think she felt uncomfortable with it. So I do have a pack of underwears that I bought for her. And when she wakes up from her nap, I'm going to give it a go with underwear because she did want to wear pants with no diaper so maybe it's just like feeling naked which i can totally get here's a today one of potty training but i'm excited but nervous but excited <laughs> as soon as i stopped recording they literally rang the doorbell and then they brought the package so let's unbox it the potty seat did not arrive but i did order some white sneakers <laughs> White sneakers have been in for like a hot minute now and I just haven't caught on to the trend. I have white leather shoes, but they don't they don't have the same feel. So I got these Fila little sneakers. Can I just say that I remember my grandma having Fila shoes because she would buy them at Walmart. And I think these fit perfect. Oh my goodness. All right, you guys, I think I'm feeling the shoe. Like even with these yoga flare, whatever you want to call them. They look nice. Oh my gosh. I feel like I didn't vlog much yesterday, but today is day two and we're at Target because for one, I wanted to get some extra underwear for our little training. And then also I wanted to get her a costume because today she has a music class and I totally forgot. It's costume day because it's almost Halloween and we don't have a costume. Last resort, I'll go to Spirit Halloween because I know they overpriced their costumes and I'm not trying to pay 
forty dollars for like a toddler size, you know. So hopefully I can just get both the things from here and I don't have to go to multiple places because she is napping. I'm reheating some pasta, so sorry for the noise. But guess where I had to go? Spirit, because I went to Walmart, Marshalls, Target, even Ross, and they had no costumes. Oh. <laughs> They had no costumes. Like out of all the stores, there were maybe four that were her size and they were not fun costumes, you know? It was basically like a little dress with a tutu and uh, different colors, but like, what is that? You know, it's not a costume. So with just enough time, I went to Spirit Halloween and I got her a little Wonder Woman costume. I was between this one, Meanie and Red Riding Hood, but I like this one because it was like a more costumey one. Plus it's Wonder Woman. So I feel like it's fun, like the little tutu, the little headband. Hopefully she wears it, but it is a little warm outside. Like it's, it's the hot, it's not cold at all. And it's long sleeve. And if you're wondering, for me, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna try to like DIY something in my closet, but I don't wanna spend 50 bucks on a costume for like two hours, you know? It would be different if I had plans like to go to a party, a club or something, but I'm just gonna go trick or treating around the neighborhood and that's pretty much it. So not trying to waste a bunch of money, but I also do enjoy the fun of dressing up. Oh, and then potty training. Today's day two. Um, we had one pee accident yesterday, so no biggie. And then one number two accident today, which is fine. She pretty she pretty much tells me when she needs to go do like pee and stuff. So I'm really happy about that. I know poop is usually the harder one. So we also did go to the store today for like over an hour and no accidents. So I'm really happy about that. Costume was a success. I loved it, especially like the little cape in the back. It's awesome. We just got home and I broke the box for the toilet seat, but here it is. <laughs> This is the final product and she uses a little step there. I kind of don't know if I regret the decision to buy it because now she just wants to get on and off and doesn't actually do anything. So we'll see how that plays out. This will be day three of potty training and today we're actually gonna go ahead and paint our pumpkins that we got from the pumpkin patch. This is our little color palette. I want to end this little short video with a 15 week update. Technically right now I'm at 15 weeks and six days. So my baby is the size of a pear. So like, kind of like this big, which is pretty cool. Oh, huge update. I actually think, I'm pretty sure I felt the baby move two times this week. I took a little clip, but I think my first time was 15 weeks and three days. And then one time yesterday. And that is so, I guess just cool. Like obviously I felt this with my daughter. It's always nice to feel like your baby move inside and, and from the ultrasound this baby moves like crazy to actually feel him or her move in there. It's just pretty cool but it also brings back memories of like how much my daughter used to move and how it always feels so tiny now but then later it just feels in lack for a better word weird when you start feeling like their hands and like elbows moving around. That is obviously much later but it was like, really exciting to feel him or her move. As far as symptoms go I swear the boob pain has been getting worse. Week 15, oh my gosh, they hurt so much more. I feel like it's funny, every time I talk about this, I just hold on to my boobs, like I need to show you guys. <laughs> Other than that, I think my crazy drive for hunger has kind of like reached the normal level now. Like I'll eat a normal amount of food and I'm not starving all the time. I think my fatigue has been getting a little bit better too, but if I'm being honest, I just feel lazy. Like I'm not necessarily tired, I'm just being lazy and I think that's just a me thing. Like I gotta snap out of it. Cause when I'm lazy, I feel like that transfers to my daughter's day. To end this little update, I'm gonna share two things. 
one we know the gender of this baby we just found out yesterday so i'm probably gonna post like a little gender reveal video soon <laughs> and that's all i'm gonna say about that because i'm not trying to give anything away and then two i'm gonna show you a little belly bump update this is like the belly. i'm wearing a loose shirt so you can't really like tell i don't know but that's everything for this little vlog so if you enjoyed please like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time